You know, I think the two most important things to me as we grow our program is one, one is our culture. Um, inside uh, our program, on and off the court, how we think, uh, the mindset of giving back to others, all the things that go into our culture. I think the second most important thing is player development. It's something we have a very uh, deep-rooted passion towards. Uh, our staff is really bought in. In fact, I, I won't hire a staff member unless they understand the importance of, of player development in our program. And that's really three pieces. That's the personal side, that's the student side, that's the athletic side. It's all three of those kind of rolled up in one. And there's no question that we feel a real burden and responsibility to help those guys grow daily, help them grow each year. I expect to see changes in our players. We have a real blueprint and a plan uh, that we alter and tweak based on the individual. And we set a lot of goals for our guys in the areas of person, student, player. Uh, and we fully expect them to improve. And I think it's been a big emphasis for us. If we have a great culture and we have great uh, growth uh, in terms of our players developing, then I really believe the score is going to take care of itself because we're going to recruit talented guys that fit the University of Illinois. And if our culture is rock solid, our player development piece is in place, then the score will truly take care of itself. As I've coached now, you know, 19 years, I, I, I look back and, you know, the one thing that we've tried to do is, is put together a player development program where it's very individualized. Each player is different, you know, for us to put in you know, four point guards in a group and say that they're all the same, you know, one guy may need more right hand work, another guy may need more left hand work, another guy may be a better catch and shoot jump shooter, another guy may shoot better off the bounce. So we're tweaking those workouts so that they're individualized so that we can address guys' concerns or improvement areas more specifically. I think it's been really good for us. I think the players appreciate how individualized it is. Uh, and there's certain times of the year, obviously, where we'll bring them together, maybe want to compete and do some group, uh, do a group setting type of workout uh, or have the team together. I think that's important. Obviously, you have to have that connection. Basketball is a team game. But in terms of our individual player development, most of it is very, very specific to that individual. And I think our guys have really benefited from that. We have a saying in our program that you get what you measure whether that's team statistics or individual statistics or that's skill development or that's GPA or uh, you know you're jumping GPA from one semester to another you know we always say the numbers don't lie the film doesn't lie so I think we have really used statistics and use numbers as feedback to not only give that to our staff as feedback but to give that to the player or a group of players uh, and give them goals so that they can continue to improve and I think when players see improvement uh, in some cases, you know, you can't measure certain things, but there's a lot of things that you can. So those goals that we can measure, I think that's really important that we do that so that guys can see themselves improving. I'm one of those guys that really believes the motivation to succeed, you know, occurs a lot from being successful. Now all of a sudden you're successful and you reach a goal and now that motivates you even more to be even better, whether that's in a drill, whether that's in practice, or whether that's in a game.